School football earlier today, Northwestern at Mercyhurst Prep from Veteran Stadium. This game moved from Albion due to field conditions. Lakers scored the first two touchdowns, but pick it up tied at 14 in the third quarter. Lakers fumble near, near midfield. Northwestern going to take over here later in the third. Ryan Toole going to fake me out big time in the play action here. And then the throw to the end zone for Malachi Schaefer goes for a 21-14 Wildcats lead on that TD pass. In the fourth, Northwestern one more time here. Toole taking off running, a sprint out to the right. And then he doesn't listen to coach's direction, but still gets it done here as he goes for a touchdown run. 28 unanswered to get the win, 28-14. Northwestern finishing the season on a high note. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, our seniors and our whole team have worked so hard, and not a lot of teams can say they finish their season on a win, and hey, we did it. Our seniors were just, were just a great crew. We all love each other, and we just had a great season. It's an unbelievably special group. You know, you're talking about 15 kids, uh, counting our manager, and they were my first crew. They were my little, you know, kittens, uh, you know, the Wildcats on the way in. So to be with them all four years and see them out right, it, it means the world to me, and I really appreciate their effort. Out to Sheen Field, Cross County, where Corey hosted Bill McNally's Girard Yellow Jackets this afternoon. And it did not take long to get the scoring started. In fact, opening kickoff of the game, here it comes. And there it goes. Corey's Sam Fisher fielding it, taking off. He will score. Going to the house, 7 nothing right away as the Beavers get on the board on the home field. It's Sam Fisher with that kickoff return touchdown to open up the scoring. Gerard would counter back, and it's Todd Esman coming at you for the seven-yard touchdown run for the Yellow Jackets here as Gerard gets on the board. And then later in the half here, Yellow Jackets coming up with a red zone turnover. Austin Barrett with the interception near the end zone here. Corey wins a close one, though, 28-24. At home, other scores. Warren beats Monotau 47-15 this evening in Lakeview. This afternoon, beating Franklin 46-25. College football.